What's going on everybody, East Tactics. This is another M2C Explained video where I am going to be showcasing not only an amazing product from M2C, but a new tactic that I'm going to be incorporating so that I could take better advantage of none other than the basher bodies. And basher bodies are so durable, but I, on my first bash, when I put a basher body on, ended up doing some destruction to my body posts. Now I'm sure there's more than a dozen of you out there that have thought about picking up a basher body, but the riggers that they throw to the body posts did some damage and so you've switched back to the more flexible but much weaker body from the manufacturer. Now, if you guys haven't seen my video on rhino lining the inside of your body, watch this video right here to get the details. Another great tactic when it comes to getting a durable body, but even this doesn't come anywhere near the durability of a basher body, a indestructible body. You can literally stand on one of these. Now, obviously if a body is so strong, it's gonna provide like a huge turtle shell protection to your rig. Now, back to the topic at hand, M2C Explained. This video is all about the M2C aluminum body braces. Now, I want to show you the evolution of what I've gone through when it comes to my journey with regard to bodies and body mounting systems. These banana clips are just super annoying to me. I find that they are cumbersome. They, they kind of flap around. You know, if this thing breaks because of getting too much sun or just snaps, then you're losing them all the time. So yeah, so I ended up switching over to screw on body mounts. And if you look, you can see I drilled holes. You know, I have a video right here if you want to watch it just to kind of get, this is great, a great solution. You can use these little screw on caps to, to mount the body down. And it works pretty good for your stock body without any rigid upgrades to the body. Um, it even worked pretty good on my rhino line body. It held pretty good, but because that body still had some flex. However, when I transitioned over to the basher bodies, you know, I ended up landing on my roof and that extreme durable shell ended up transferring a lot of the force straight into the body mounts. And what ended up happening is it broke here. You can even see on this one where it's starting to crack. Now, one of the really cool things about this upgrade, the M2C is incorporated, is <clears throat> you'll notice that the entire piece is more rectangular shaped. It doesn't drop down. If you do end up sticking with the plastic body mounts, which is totally fine, then you're gonna wanna push this thing all the way down. You're gonna find that that's the same level. So you, want, you do want it to go all the way down as far as it'll go and then pop your screw through. Now you'll notice right here in the stock variant, the reason why this is cracking and breaking in this section here is because there's a gap that from from basically the top of the body mount to this point here, that's about, I don't know, 10 millimeters. Whereas on the M2C, there's no gap here, which means that the strength of the plastic is gonna be way less likely to snap. Rocking the plastic components with the upgraded M2C body mounts is gonna be a huge win, whether you're you know running with the stock body or you're going with a basher body. This is still a huge upgrade for your body mounts. Now, one of the key things that I wanted to point out of the M2C Incorporated that is absolutely ingenious and just shows the sheer magnitude and level of strength that's going to make these body mounts like lock into the shock towers is this special hole that's cut out is the shape of the, the nut. So you're actually going to take the nut that's right here and you're gonna put that down into these holes. And when you screw through the shock tower into the nut, it's gonna use the entire girth of the nut head inside of the metal. So you have you can rest in confidence that it's not gonna strip in any way. People were having problems, whether it be with the basher body or the stock body with these, if it's not breaking here and snapping, then it was stripping the screws out of, and, and basically ripping the body mount off of the shock tower. Well, M2C has addressed this and it's much needed if you're going to be rocking a basher body. Now you take into account the fact that you want to run a basher body and the indestructible body is going to lend a huge amount of protection to your rig. You just don't wanna break these. So now that this slides all the way down, you're gonna find that you're gonna get all the benefits from the basher body and not have to worry about your body mounts. I have decided that I would like to incorporate a East Tactic 
that's going to not only do away with the clips, because I'm not a fan of the clips, but it's going to incorporate a level of shock mitigation onto a spring. And now this spring right here, it's ARA 340178. You're going to want to buy four of these if you want to take advantage of this tactic. All right, so I've talked about the benefits of going with the M2C body mounts. You'll notice that I actually went in and I put all the little nuts in there. I put the screw in so it's nice and centered. And then I went ahead and put UV light glue on both sides. Dispenser there. And this is a little UV light. Just to kind of get them in there and not have to finagle with it again. But anyway, moving on. So using the M2C body mounts with the stock components is gonna be an upgrade. But you know me, I wanna take it a step further, which is why I have all this stuff here. And I'm gonna be, what I've decided to do is come up with a tactic that I'm banking on being even more tank than using the stock ones. I'm gonna go above and beyond. So I was thinking about it on my drive home and these are gonna be the golden ticket right here. And I'll tell you why, as I described to you, this new loadout that I'm gonna be rocking is gonna be incorporating springs and metal, which should be completely tank and also incorporate shock absorption. So why? what are these? These are just little rubber grommets that I might put up under the body just to like provide a level of protection or shock absorption. Um, even more so than the springs. I think if you're gonna be doing this project, this uh, tactic, and you're using a stock body, or you're using a body that's got rhino lining or something like that, that's not as solid as this, then incorporating some of these pads um, right there at that point where you mount on is gonna be beneficial. So anyway, these are all 5 16 18 um, by two inch, and they all perfectly fit right inside of that okay so so I can go ahead and take all of these which I bought 30 cents a piece put them over here in this not used pile and then we want to take all four of these and do some work to them two so this is a thumb screw is what you call it thumb screw i'll put a link in the description of these hopefully i can find you like a pack of 10 of them or something like that or whatever for under under five bucks under 10 bucks whatever that's the goal <clears throat> um i want to make it to where if you guys want to incorporate this tactic that it's it, that i have all the products in the description for you and you have to do the least amount of work possible in finding the easiest way to do this all right these are going to be our babies right here during the build process, which you're gonna see how this is gonna work here in a minute, I when when you're when you're going in and you're putting the body on, I don't want this thing spinning. If this thing spins, then when you're trying to take the cap off when it's on top of the vehicle, and I picked out these acorn caps for a reason. A, they're super tank, they're gonna be great for taking the blunt of skids. And honestly, I mean aside from the fact that they might get scuffed up and you can just, you know, I bought some extra ones or whatever. This is gonna be what holds down my body. When you're on top and you're unscrewing this and you wanna take, you know, take your body off, if this thing right here is spinning, then you're not gonna be in a good place. You're gonna be like spinning your wheels and it's gonna be super annoying. We're not gonna be using those. So then I had an epiphany. What if, all right, maybe this is going to be best explained by just showing you, okay? So here's what we're going to do. A little Dremel work is going to be required. So the other nice thing about this is I'm going to get rid of the, 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 ex, the excess weight because honestly, I don't, I don't want this fat nubby thing to be on here. If I can get rid of this nubby, you know, which was kind of like the thought with these ones, getting rid of the cutting this off, which is just a ton more Dremel work to have to cut this off. And, you know, then you're burning through your discs. That's why I had to buy new discs, you know, in the first place. Um, watch this. Watch this. I want to leave just a little bit of this flanged out section there. Okay. You'll see why here in a second. Okay. 
Okay, so check it out. I'm gonna slide this thing through. Are you starting to get an idea of what I'm thinking of doing? We're not gonna be needing this little side screw anymore. So we'll put that there. So, so now, whenever I'm trying to screw, unscrew that piece, so long it might be spinning like this, but then at some point it's gonna get caught in that and, and stop spinning. Now, and I'm gonna do that to all four of these <clears throat> real quick, and I'll come back when I'm done with this. All right, okay, so now that we've done this, what am I building, you might be wondering? Well, you saw sort of a representation of it in the very beginning of the video. Okay, so we've got our springs. Now you'll notice on these right here, I took, and I did Dremel these down because I was trying to shave on weight, you know? So really the spring kind of sits like this and granted, that does provide more um, of a footprint. So I guess you could just totally leave it like this and go with this. I mean, the teeth kind of even look cool too. But I don't know, for the, for the sake of weight, I was thinking, oh, you know what? Plus, I also cut this down right here, the length of it, because there's more room for the spring action. But anyway, you can go with this if you want, or you can cut them. Or I actually have right here a link in the project for my mods for a specialty piece that is kind of reminiscent of this, but has a bigger, it's like the best of both worlds. It's short right here, but it's also a little bit longer, like rectangular shape instead of square shape. And you get a bag of 20 of them for like nine bucks or 10 bucks or something like that. So you can just order those instead and you're, you're going to be golden. Okay, so now let's build it. This first, then the spring, then this piece. Down till it's tight. And you'll notice there's enough room for the thickness of the body as well as if you're going to be utilizing any sort of cushion or padding, um, you're good. And that, my friends, and these springs are no joke. They're pretty heavy. Oh, the other thing that I want to incorporate, we'll do right now. Take this apart, is we're going to take some of our Cow RC Utter Butter. A little bit of lubrication in here. Nothing wrong with a little bit of lube. Okay. Knowing that I'm not gonna strip it because I'm going into those two nuts is pretty cool. There we go. All right, that one's good. Now for the rear. All right. So, now for the best part. Oh, 
Oh, that tightens down so good. I think it looks mean too. I mean, those are gonna, those are gonna be great skid plates. And then some solid shock absorption going on there, boys. Hell yeah. See how that holds up after a bash, after some roof landings. How quick and easy is it to get off? Loosen it. Feels like I'm taking off tires. shall see you know after a good bash session after some gnarly roof landings and after some nose plants and whatnot you have to admit this looks cooler all right guys if you haven't already please subscribe to my channel hit the like button on this video stay tuned for the next challenge we'll go into a live stream roll for them and that person will win all the goods and then we'll also find out who's best in show that person will win an east tactics t-shirt and then we'll also look at the the commenters inside of the best of show video and that person will also win an east tactics t-shirt now may is here i will be dropping the official announcement video for the may jump challenge stay tuned east tactics out